I was born on November 12, 1815 in Johnstown, New York. I had 10 brothers and sisters, but only four of my sisters and I lived until adulthood. My last brother died at 20 years old. My mother lamented his death and my father wished that I would have been a boy. After high school, I wanted to go to college, but my father said women don't go to college. In 1840, I married Henry Stanton. We had seven children, five boys and two girls. When I was only four years old, a woman, a woman came over to see my new baby sister and said, what a pity it is that she's a girl. I was very confused because I didn't understand what was wrong with being a girl. At 11, I discovered that women weren't allowed to vote, own land, go to college, or even have a professional job. I wasn't happy because I wanted to do more than stay at home, cooking, doing laundry, and taking care of my kids. Women had very few rights, and I wanted to be the one to change all that. My friends and I planned a women's rights convention where I gave a speech in front of 300 people in Seneca Falls, New York. We listed all the rights that we thought women should have. The list was called the Declaration of Sentiments. In 1848, New York State passed a new law that let married women own property. In 1888, Susan, and I, Susan B. Anthony and I held the International Council of Women. People from eight different countries discussed women's rights. The president even invited our group to the White House to celebrate. Sadly, on October 26, 1902, I died, 18 years before the 19th Amendment, passed which gave the which gave women the right to vote i was a communicator because i held conventions where i gave speeches about women's rights i was a risk taker because a lot of men thought that women should keep house and care for children but i fought for women's rights when men told me that we'd never be equal to them I also showed commitment because at age 80, I was still writing books and articles fighting for women's rights, even though I was going blind. Let me leave you with this quote that I wrote. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. Bye.